Hi guys, I am doing Relax and Paint this morning and I am got some great colors to work with you and I just want to be free and um, loose today and see what you think about that. So let's do that together and we'll get started right now. So I'm going to come right down here and I'm in my art pad. I kind of keep it in here. Um, we have these, there's like 40 sheets. It's 92 pound, nine by 12s. All right. So they see it's perforated when it comes out. These are great pads and it's kind of smooth. So our painting goes really well. So I'm going to use some different flat brushes. I've been working with this paint and this is citrus, sap, citrus green, sap green, some white, and I'm going to pin out some teal. And all of these are multi surface paints. I've done the drawing that I'm working on, but I'm going to do the flowers that I drew out here and show you some of those, how fun these can be. And there's all kinds of other things we can do, like the bird and on the future. But um, I'm using floating medium in here instead of water. I'm using multi-surface colors here. And it's kind of, so you're going to folk art, multi-surface, which means it's got a sealer in it. You can paint on lots of different surfaces. I'm painting on these paper pads. So you can frame it or I can keep it in my portfolio. That's kind of how I work here. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dampen my 16 flat. And I'm going to work this in to the color. I dampen it laying on the paper towel and take off the excess water. And then I can even come up here and get some lighter colors and medium. All right. So the first colors I'm going to use is I'm going to come all the way off the top and I'm going to have this vine effect that is stretching from way up here into the trees, maybe. And the, some vines are hanging, some are coming across. All right. And then over here, I'm having some that crossed over a little bit right into that um, branch where my bird was going. But what I want to share with you is how to get this look and have it just be kind of like in the shadows, but kind of yummy. All right. So I'm going to get some medium and pick up some. Oops, y'all don't see that. I picked up some teal and I'm working with that medium and I'm trying to get it real thin, pick up some white, get some of the yummy colors, tap, 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 working it in. All right. So I did a few where this is in the background. All right. So I do out and out a little bit and push hard and fill it in. And so now these are little leaves that are out there. And I'll do what I did before. Um, I have to put something under here. And that's why I left it on the pad. So um, I can um, take that shine away some so you guys can see it. All right. All right. So that's one side. So up and out, out a little bit, and then out a lot. And then we pull the stem in there. So I don't mind if those other stems see through. This is just supposed to be like an illusion in the background. So I can also come in here and just with a medium and have real light transparent leaves. All right. So medium and that transparent color. All right. So I'm going to have it all in here. Okay, there we go. And I have some that come down. Now this is just, I'm just picking it up off the plate. It's got all this medium, lots of medium. So I cleaned out my loaded brush into the medium so that I can just come in here and have all these different shadow leaves is what I call this. All right. All right, 
So see, those are just transparent and that they're going to look good in the overall picture. All right. So now we're going to come in here and add a few leaves. All right. So I'm just going to come and pick up some teal with a little bit of sap in the middle and citrus on the outside edge. All right. So what I have planned here is I have one flower that's going to go right here. All right. And then it has some really wiggled leaves. Okay. And then I can pull a stem into it. All right. So watch this again. I'm going to come over here and pick up a little bit of white. Then I can come back down. Okay. Now I am going to come down here. And some of these, look, I wiggle out and lay to the side and come back. All right. I'm going to come back over there and pick up some white. All right. And then push down and pull it back. All right. So in here, I'm going one, two, three, and slide back on each one of those. All right. Okay. So I am going to not push down. I'm going to stay up on the chisel edge. All right. That's really bright. And I'm going to pick up some right here. And all right. All right, so we can have green here, but then what you're going to see is where I have lots of flowers that go off the edges. So this green could come off the edge and come back. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to wash that up. And just having that green in the back, you can always come and add more green. But it's kind of cool to see those faded uh, shadow leaves in the background of there. All right. And now I'm going to just go to, let's find um, crisp 12. All right. So so I'm going to have some blue and white, I mean, pink and white here and a pink and white up there. But let's do some Juneberry and white. All right. So let's go to the top. And we're going to push, I want to point and push down. Point, push, point, push. Okay, so let's get some more June Berry. And then I'm going to do one. Two, three. Now I'm going to just pick up some white and Juneberry and just slide them this way. So this might be easier for you. Okay. And so let's try this again because this would be up and one stroke, pulling it back. Okay. All right, so then what happens? We get a little bit of white and we come here and we're going to have just here and there little petals. Okay, so those are all those pink ones on that side and that's all Juneberry and we'll put sitters at those in a minute. But then I have one big pretty flower here, which is going to be mostly white to start with. So I get a little bit of medium working white. 
I can put a teeny bit of purple violet pansy. All right. So I'm going to come right here in the back. Okay, we're going to come and all of those are going to be in the back. So we're going to come down here. So see, I'm taking the purple up, up. Okay, so that's pretty good, huh, with the purples? Now look what happens. I'm going to wipe that off pretty much so it has a little bit of purple in it. But I want white. See, I don't think you can see right there. I'm going to white on here. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to touch right here and then you touch out here. All right, so we're going to come up here and pull it down. Stroke white and pull down. Stroke white, pull down. All right. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to come down with white. See those streaks down there? All right. So I can kind of come in here and do a twisted bud. So that's how that looks before it opens up. It's twisted. There we go. And we'll put some green on there. And right in here, we can put some green down the bottom, I mean, green, Juneberry down the bottom to kind of finish that off. Okay, so now the next color, we got all these different colors I wanted to work into here. Okay, so are you having fun yet? <laughs> all right, so I'm going to take white over here and let's get this pink going. Okay. Now. What we want to do is have some white. Now these flowers are up and around, up and around. Now those are all pulled in. These are pulled out. All right, so we can make these a little smaller. So I'm going to come here and do a second one right on in here. See how little they are? Okay. And I'm going to have this come in from the outside. So you just make it disappear. Isn't that kind of fun? All right. And I still think it's like another one right here. It looks pretty with the green on it, see? And then I have some of them right in here. A little light pink here. And we're going to overlap this. Okay. Got one out here. All right. Okay, down here.
Okay, so that all we're doing is we are adding a big flower down here, and then we come back and put a few centers of leaves, okay? Does that sound good? All right. So I'm going to take the 16 flat, and I am going to use, let's use some yellow ochre with a teeny bit of yellow that we're going to put in the centers of some of those flowers. Okay, so we're going to pick up these two colors, work it in, yellow ochre and daffodil, and then siloed white. Okay, so we are coming all in here, all the way around the edges. All right, and it's going to come all the way across here. All right, so it's going to be off the center. So I'm going to pick these colors and I'm going to come right here and end up in the middle. All right. Okay, so off the edge, all the way around. And right in here, we're going to come in front now. We're going to go just like this. Okay. And so all we have to do is work on the center. So each one of these went to the side, went to the side, went to the side. And then we're going to come in the middle. All right. So we can come in here with a little bit of trailing flowers. All right. Okay. And so, okay. So, what happens here is we're going to take the script liner. And we're going to pick up a few stems in here. So each one of these has a stem. Okay. Okay. Same thing here. All right. So we're going to put a, a few of these white dots. All right, so then some of the things that happen is that you got to put a darker pink in the middle. And then you're going to put a little bit in each one of these, and then we put citrus green. All right, so I'm going to put this in. Your citrus in here. There we go. I'm just pulling all kinds of fun little detail in there. And the minute you do that, you see how it changes the whole look? It's kind of cool that we can now get a little steam in. And we're going to pull it in.
We're going to put a little bit of yellow. And that kind of fun. Okay, now in the center of here, we're going to use our quarter inch scruffy. And we're going to have the dark at the bottom. And a little bit of citrus at top. And then we tap a little bit of white. And that bright. Okay, so I think I could come in here a little bit and side load Juneberry and come under to this with Juneberry. Okay. We're going to come right along here. Okay. All right. So I hope you guys like that. I'm going to put with this very small brush, I'm going to put little butterflies and the little white ones. And they're going to come all in here. Little teeny butterflies. All right, so I have a little bit more green here I missed that we need the uh, calyx on this little bud there. little bit there. Okay, so I'm going to put little bodies in here. So their bodies are citrus with a teeny bit of sap. I'm going to touch and pull and then do the antennas. Touch, lift, touch, lift. Okay, lay the body down, lift. Okay, right in here, we lay the body down and then we lift into it. Oh, there's one right here. Lay it down. So. Okay, aren't they just cute? <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. I hope that you share this on Facebook. Do some painting. Come see what everybody else is on the Donna Dewberry's official one-stroke group. All right. There we go. Hope you like it. I want to see you paint it. Any color background, okay? See you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you.